Today, I'm going to show you how you can use AI to analyze your years of Apple health data you've collected and deliver insights to you so you can improve your health. Yes, there's a ton of apps out there that help you analyze your data, but none of them can look at over four, five, 10 years of data you've collected because it takes a lot of processing power to deal with gigabytes of data. And secondly, with AI, you can ask it customized questions that are specific to you that you want to answer. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can do it in a private way. So then if you don't want your data to be given to the AI overlords, you can still analyze it privately. Let's get into it. Okay, to analyze your Apple Health data, it's three steps. The first step is you need to export all your data from iPhone, and then you need to send it to your Mac. And then third step, I'll teach you how to use AI to analyze the data. Okay, to download your Apple Health data, Open your iPhone, go to the health app, tap on your profile, scroll down and click on export all health data and click export. Now this is going to take a while because if you've been collecting for years, like I have, it could be several gigabytes of data. And now just wait for the export to complete. Now that it's done, you want to export it to your MacBook Pro. So click there. And I've just airdropped it to my MacBook. And so now I'm ready for the next step. Now go to your Mac, as you can see, I've already downloaded. Just double click on the zip file and let it export. And you'll see that you'll have an export.xml. So let's see how big the file is. It's one gig of data. So that's a huge file. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have more than one gig if you've been collecting for more than five, six years. Now we're ready to analyze data. Now that you've exported your Apple Health data, there are two options. There's a free open source version and there's a paid Mac application version. The free version is great. It gives you more flexibility, but you need a little bit of technical knowledge. You need to know how to use a terminal, Docker, and install Python. Don't worry, you can use it even if you have no technical background. But if you're strapped for time, you don't want the fuss, then you can just download the Mac application and use that right away. For both of these options, you will still need a local LLM, which I'll teach you how to install. And if you wish, you can connect to an external AI by using an API key, which I'll teach you how to get. I'm gonna teach you how to use the open source free option first. I'll include the link in the description. It's an open source, it is available in GitHub. And as you can see, you can create interactive data visualizations of all your metrics, daily activities, weight, sleep patterns. It can give you an AI analysis and give you these charts from 2002 to 2004. So it can give you like almost 10 years of analysis or more if you've been collecting for that long. The good thing about open source is that you can see all the code on the website and it's got 242 stars. So a lot of people already use this product. To run the open source project, you'll need to use Terminal. And I have to say, Terminal is not easy to use. To make it easier, I would suggest downloading warp.dev, which is an AI agent to help you run your terminal. So go to the link. I'll provide the link in the description. Go to warp.dev, download your Mac, click on this button to install it, and then I'll show you how to run it. Okay, so you have warped installed. And what you need to do is you need to come here to the GitHub and you have to first clone the repo, which means you need to copy it to your computer. Now you can just copy and paste and it'll save in the default location, but I like to go to desktop. So I type CD desktop and then I clone it into my desktop and I press enter. Now it's copied into my desktop, but now you're not in the folder yet. So you need to go CD Apple Health, which means change directory. And you see that it's desktop slash Apple Health. So that's the one I'm in. So you're in the code. Now you need to go pip install requirements. So let's do that because it needs to run a bunch of stuff. And it'll say create a virtual environment and install requirements. Okay, let's do that. Let it run. And then run. Just keep clicking until it's ready. Then you can copy this, the third step, and there you have it. So you presented with choices like analyze steps, distance, heart rate, sleep, and some AI analysis. So let's choose steps. And this will take some time to load and it will be presented with a chart. 
and it goes from 2017 to 2025. Now, if it's the first time running this, this will actually ask you to drop in your export file. And so what you need to do is you need to go back to your downloads, find your export.xml, and when it asks you to locate the export.xml file, just drop it into the thing and it will have the link. But because I ran it before, it already remembered my location. But all you need to do is just drag it in and press enter and it'll be able to find the file that you want to analyze. Now I'm going to analyze my heart rate as well. And you see that, you know, I was quite stressed the last couple of years, but it's coming back down. That's a good sign. So that's how you do the basic analysis. Now we're going to move into the next part, which is using AI to extract even more insights. For analysis with AI, there's two options. You can use cloud AI like Grok, Gemini, Claude, and OpenAI. And for each of them, if you have an account, you can go in and get your API key. Or you can use OpenRouter, and then OpenRouter actually gives you access to all of the APIs there. And you can use one key and access all the LLMs out there. The downside is that when you're giving data to the cloud AI, you never know what they're going to do with the data. So now they have access to your personal health data. And if you're uncomfortable with that, you can use a local AI that runs locally on your machine and teach you how to use Olama to do that. But the downside is it's much slower. And also cloud AI costs money, although it's not a lot, it's just a couple of cents. And local AI is free of charge. It's just running on your own computer. So it depends on how much privacy you want and I'll show you how to run both. You will need to go to openrouter.ai and sign up for an account. And after you have, you just go to keys, create API key, and then I'll label mine L AI, and you can set a limit. And I highly recommend doing that because you don't want to get slapped with a $10,000 bill. So I create and it will give you a key. So just copy this key. And then we'll need to go back into warp to put this in. We're back in warp and I'm going to choose analyze with open router option 11. Okay. I need to enter my open router. We just copied it. So we're going to paste it in there. And then I need to choose a model. I'm going to go ahead and choose open AI GPT five chat. I'm going to click copy and then it returns an analysis. So let's look at the analysis. It's giving me some notable patterns and trends. Over the eight years, I'm averaging 10,000 steps. Great. Common is seven to 8,000. There's spikes of 20 to 50,000 steps. Average heart rate is 87, higher than typical. And I'll give you some reasons. My weight, I haven't been recording that a lot, but I've been gaining weight for sure. And I've done 625 workouts mainly hit exercises and basketball workouts, which is exactly what I do. Unusual findings and actionable insights. So steep quality opportunities. So I need to I wake up multiple times. So maybe I can improve my sleep. My heart rate needs improvement and I need to work on my weight. And so really interesting output from the AI and I can save it as a markdown file and use it later. So that's how you use cloud AI to analyze your data. Now let's go into using a local AI. To use a local AI, you need to download Olama. So you need to go to olama.com, click download, and just double click on it and you'll be able to install on your Mac. And once you have it, you should have something like this. And then once you're inside, you can choose your model by clicking this button. There's multiple models you can choose, but what do these numbers mean? It means how large the data set is for the LLM. The larger the model, the more space it's going to take up. So if you don't have a lot of space and your computer is not super fast, choosing a really large model like 120B, it's just going to take a lot of space and your computer may not be fast enough to run it. And for this analysis, actually, you can just choose a smaller model. And let's say I choose the DeepSeq 8B. Let's say I click high. And it will show you that you need to download 4.9 gigabytes. So choose a model and download it. And then when you've downloaded it, we can move on to the next part. Assuming you have downloaded a model, 
you can now choose using AI with Olama Local. So let's go 12. And it's going to connect to DeepSeek, which is already installed. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer. It's come back with some results. And let's see how it compares to the other results that I paid for with Open Router. And I forgot to mention that you can come back to Open Router. You can go to Activity. And you can see that my previous analysis cost me 0.023 cents. But if I'm using Olama, it costs nothing. So this took 133 seconds. And let's look at the data. It's still giving me some good analysis. So areas improvement. So it's telling me that I'm doing hit and running and basketball. It spans eight years but lacks trends and activity frequency over time. The insights are not as good, but you're still getting something. And that's not bad for something that's free. So that's how you run something locally. And that's how you use the free open source version. Now, if this is too much work for you, I'm going to go into showing you how to use the Mac app. You can just download and use right away. If you want the simplest way to analyze your Apple health data without setting up Docker and using the terminal, you can just purchase this Health Data AI Analyzer from the Mac App Store. It's USD $4.99, and all you need to do is install it, and then I'll show you how to use it. I will provide the link in the description so you can download it too. After you've purchased it, you just need to click on this Import button, and go back to the export.xml file, and go back to the export.xml file, and in the first part of this video, I showed you how to export your Apple Health Data. So double-click on that, and it will process your data. And then it will come back with all the types of data that you have collected. And for each one, you can click on it to disable it. But then by default, it will analyze all of the data types that is available. There, I have 27 types. And you've got VO2 max, resting heart rate, walking heart rate. So it's got a ton of data. And let's click analyze. It's found 22,000 records. And so depending on how much data you have, it might take a little while, give it some time. Okay, and it is done. And so you can see that it's given me some overview insights, my weekly patterns. I'm most active on Fridays and Sundays. There's some long-term trends and it's seeing that I have a decrease in my distance traveled over 93 months. I peak in March and it's lowest in August. That's when my kids are off summer holiday. And so the key thing here is that most apps only analyze a few months of data, but this can look at years of data. So 93 months of data. And there's extraordinary distance days, top month, interesting trends. And so you can click on each one and look at your data. You can look at all of it. It starts from 2017 all the way to, so eight years of data, you can quarterly, monthly, yearly, a lot of interesting charts. And then you can also look into the steps insights. Let's look at heart rate. And I've had a stressful couple of years, last few years with my job, and now it's coming back down. So that's a good sign. Let's look at the insights. My average resting heart rate is above average. So it's at 97. So I need to work on my heart for sure. And there's a lot of other interesting data and insights you can look at. I need to work on my heart rate variability, my sleep, recovery. So lots of data you can look at. But what if you want to dive a little deeper? You can come to AI analysis. And in the previous part of my video, I explained the difference between open router and Olama. Basically, you can use a cloud AI that's more powerful, but it's paid and you bring your own API key. All you need to do is go to open router, get your key, and then you need to enter your key. You can also choose the model that you want to run. And there's lots of different models you can choose from. You can also change your prompt to the AI and ask for specific things that you want. And because there is a context window, which means you can't send one gigabyte of data to AI and expect it to analyze it. So if you want more specific detailed analysis, you can pick one specific metric and focus on it. And it will give you even more in-depth analysis for each 
metric that you select. But if you want to get an overall picture, you can just leave this alone and it'll analyze and give you an overall analysis. Or you can use Olama. And with Olama, if you have installed it, with Olama, you can just run this locally for free and it's completely private. You don't send your data to anybody. And in the previous part of the video, you need to install Olama on your local machine and download a model. And I've installed DeepSeek and Mistral on my computer and you can run the same analysis. It will take a little bit longer, but it's still a viable option if you want to go local. And that depends on your computer speed and performance. So the faster your computer, the more powerful it can run. And it'll also show you the, the budget of the tokens required. The first time you use the app, you'll be prompted to enter your API key. So I'm going to choose Grok4 fast and I'm going to click generate insights and now you have to wait for it to come back with some insights and it's done and you'll see that it's giving me some insights it's analyzing from 2017 to 2025 and it's got some interesting insights I have a daily average of 10,260 so that's really good above 10,000 median of 8,600 my heart rate is 97 beats per minute. My weight, so I've had a gradual rise in weight from 2017 to 25. That's as true as I get older. So 2018 to 19 was my most active year. And as you can see, it's given me a lot of really interesting correlations and data. And then let's go to the and so let's see my area improvement. I need to walk a little bit more, take more steps, manage my weight, uh, sleep a little bit more, and work at my heart a little bit. And so this is a very powerful AI analysis, and, and that's how you use the health data analyzer. And finally, you can export all this data as a PDF report, image, or CSV for further analysis. And that's it. That's the ultimate guide to using AI to analyze your Apple Health data. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about AI, you can join my free AI community in the description. See you next time.